Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Now this is um this is just a a, a a quick clip of Mel Gibson, like it says on the title, Mel Gibson, 1998, exposing Hollywood in subtle way. So yeah, I saw this um, clip uh, yesterday, and basically, you know, it's just Mel Gib, which we know Mel Gibson, you know, is pretty much he's got his issues with Hollywood. Basically, he's been outcasted by Hollywood for the things he said, basically, and he, you know, he he called out the small hats over the years, you know, and um. You know, they've stopped him from making movies over these years. You know, they've scapegoated him. You know, basically, pretty much near enough destroyed his career. Pretty much. And um, because he, you know, basically found out that Hollywood's really a, you know, a, it's a dirty ring, basically. You know, he exposes it. You know? And, um, you know, he, we know that he made, we know Mel Gibson, he made the Passion of the, uh, Passion of the Christ, the movie. Passion of the Anointed, he made that movie. You know? He wanted to make the Maccabees movie. So he was getting more into that, you know, making um, movies with truth in it, pretty much. But, but pretty much he exposed the, the lies and hypocrisy of these Amalekites, and he's been doing that. All right, so Hollywood's kind of outcasted him, you know, in Hollywood, as we know. You don't really hear much about him. But anyway, I was, I'm going to play a bit of this clip here, and I'm going to read some scriptures, because basically... This is what, you know, this is what you, this is what the world is like. The true world is the true, the true, the true ru rulership of this Edomite world is like, basically. You have to sell your spirit, man. All right. This is what it is. You've got to sell your soul, man, to, to make it anywhere in this society. You're here, basically, right? You live here you most of the, the time. Yeah. yeah, really. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I integrate it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's pretty much based on money. The system, yeah. It is. Yeah. The system is completely based on money. Yeah. Uh, the studio system. Yeah. Uh, to a degree, I think the way I book into the system is based on money. Is it's, there a collective uh, ethos? Or um, somebody once said my problem was I didn't understand the social contract. Yeah, I now understand what that means. Yeah. Do you understand it? The social contract? Yeah. I, th I think I do. Yeah. What uh, is it for you? Uh, the social contract. You can't get mad. Mm -hmm. You can't get mad. You can't let it get you. Because you have to have, you have to make a deal with everyone else and it's almost unspoken that you are going to be fucked over at some point by people who you may have done something nice for. Mm -hmm. And it may happen that by circumstance, or even very purposefully, that you fuck someone over. But that shouldn't get in the way of you being able to sit down and have fun with them. <laughs> you, am I on the right track? You, you can't build a resentment about it. You have to still try and love those people. Yeah. Because that's the way they're thinking. Because it ain't personal. No, it's not personal. They don't really mean to hurt you. No. Not really. I don't quite understand. Well, I mean, there's a lot of motivations for why it sure. happens. Yes, many. I mean, money will make you do stuff as well, won't it? I mean, yes. on them, us, yes. you know. Yeah, well, yeah. whoever. If, if there's many millions riding on a decision, it's hard to be philosophical. Yes. Yeah, it, yeah very, very hard. Very hard to be, you know. You, <laughs> you have to choose what level of integrity you're coming in at. And... Okay. Uh, and I've often felt it. I've sat there and I have felt the knife slipped firmly in between my shoulder blades and tried to have it shoved through the other side through my heart. I mean, this is a bizarre place. Um, and it doesn't take very long. If, if, And I'm sure you've experienced this if you've stayed here for any length of time. You come in, you're fresh from the outside. You're off the boat, from the farm, still got shit on your shoes. You're in here. People are charmed by that, mm. that you've still got shit on your shoes. Uh, they're charmed by the fresh approach you bring to it. And that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. But they're also stroking the shit out of you, you know, mm -hmm. licking you all over. And that's kind of good for you, too. That's great. But it doesn't take very long before you 
realize, or before it gets to you, it's cascading on you all the time. You can't get away from certain attitudes, from certain modes of behavior that this town and the industry dictate. And no matter how strong you are, when you come in off the farm mm. with those convictions and those and a certain line of attack, no matter how strong you are, you are going to be affected by this place. And that's the that's that's the point basically. He's so, he's so, in a subtle way telling you, you know, that pretty much they're Satanists, man. Because he even made the point. Well, the people that run Hollywood, we know that they're Satanists, which is the small hats. And pretty much, you know, beginning with the international bankers, the elites, and basically Hollywood's part of their, you know, you know, part of their control of society, all right? They pump what they want you to see, you know, they, 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 they the, cele the so-called celebrities that you see that are idolizing this world, they degrade them, all right? That's part of making it, because what did he say? He said, you come in there with like shit on your shoes, meaning you're green, meaning you come in there... You know, fresh basically, and they like that to an extent. He said, because you know, you they they can manipulate that. You might think you might be coming there with good intentions. You want to become a, a an actor or a musician, but then they they basically chip away at that. These 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 um, you know, these industry um, masons basically. You know, they mold you into how they want you to be. So you might come there with good intentions, you know, thinking you're gonna make it and be this success, but you don't understand. What pe most people don't understand what goes on behind the scenes, man. So let me read this here. So lucky for talking so much here. It says Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. And their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? All right. And that's these elites. All right. Their works are in the dark. All right. They're the rulers of this, this world. But in the darkness, basically, they, they rule in the shadows, basically. And, and basically, you know, they pretty much, they're the wicked, all right? So everything in the facets of this society, you have to dig a little deeper, you know? When you see this, the TV screen and you see these rich superstars, you've got to dig a little deeper to, to see how they really got these things. What rituals did they do? Who are they involved with? And a lot of the times in, the indus in these industries, it's like the managers, you know, the um the record executives they're like they're like minions for, minions for witches and stuff they are lesser witches basically and they mold these actors and these musicians you know they do, they make them do depraved things to get deeper into the game to get richer and richer you got to do more depraved things man so that's what they do but they they it says woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel to the, of from the lord all right and woe is an old english word meaning destruction so woe to them that seek deep to hide their counsels from the Lord, all right? Because for years, you know, this information about the Illuminati and the elites and the celebrity world was hidden, you know? Now it's mainstream media, it's out in the open. You know, everyone knows Hollywood's a depraved place. Every, people are starting to wake up to that. You know, uh, masonry, Baphomet, people know these things now. It's like uh, the Illuminati, people know, know these things now, know this information, it's out there, it's, it's public. All right. So that's what it is. But the Lord said, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. And their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? And that's how they, how for years these elites have been thinking. Who can see what we're doing? You know, these regular Goyim, they don't know what's going on in Hollywood. They just watch uh, their celebrities that we've created and they idolize them, not knowing that what we've made them do to even get to this position. But guess what? The, the scripture says, who seeth us and who knoweth us? The who sees you and who knows you is the heavenly father and his son, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and the angels. All right? They're there seeing everything, noting it down. All right? Because on the one hand, Esau, the international bankers, you know, and their, their society that they've set up, all right? On the one hand, they'll, you know, they'll show you these, they'll promote themselves as good people, but behind the scenes, they're doing all kind of depraved, lewd acts, man. All right, and we we've gone into these things many times. Like for example, the um, the celebrity world, you know, the the the, the men and me, the male and female celebrities have to do all kind of things to get their records to number one and and to get these hit movies, you know. But the scripture says, "Who seeth us and who knoweth us?" But that's the answer to that is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord sees you and knows you. The Lord's gonna bring you you elites down, man. All right. Because even you heard Mel Gibson, he mentioned a point there. He said, um, he said, 
basically you come you come to the industry, you know, with shit on your shoes, meaning you know shit. On, basically, like you're fresh off the farm. You're fresh, basically. You 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 know you come in there with ideas. You're you're new. You don't really know what's going on there, but you come into Hollywood thinking you're gonna become this star, and you know, but you don't know what's really going on. But if you go deep into that interview, later on he even goes into more. You know, he goes into more of how depraved the industry is, how how lewd these directors are. But it's, he does, says it in a subtle way. But Mel Gibson's also said it in a more open fashion as well later on down the line. That's why you're not hearing, you're not really hearing from him. You know. Okay, so this is Mark Eight, and when you start, exp when you get the thing is, but the thing is, when you sold your soul to these devils, right? These elites, these um, the Hollywood and the Hollywood and these industries. When you sell your soul, you're in their game now. There's no getting away from it. You've, you've opened yourself to their game, basically. All right. That's why, like people like Mel Gibson and stuff, you're not hearing from them because they're not getting the media spotlight as much anymore. And also, a lot of the times, these elites will will send hitmen to them and say, look. We're gonna, if you keep opening your mouth, we'll kill you, basically. And that's what majority of the time happens. All right? And then the celebrities that are in fear, they just, you just won't hear from them again. You, they'll just be in, the ones that want to so-called think they can talk out, they'll just get silenced. So this is Mark 8 and 35. It says, but the Lord's exposing these elites anyway and, and how their kingdom runs. So this is Mark 8 and 35. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. Meaning what? Meaning if you believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and you teach his word, you basically, you know, you've saved your life, basically. All right? You've, for the Lord's name's sake, you've saved your life. All right? You're doing the right thing. You're in the right spirit, man. That's saving your life. Believing in the Lord, not caring about this society, not trying to make it in this society. You know what's going on. All right, you know that in order to make it in this world, what you have to do to make it, you've got to be wicked, man, basically. All right, but it says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Yeah, so who, the beginning part says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Yeah, so what's saving your life in this world? Trying to get the money, becoming a Hollywood star. All right, basically being the biggest degenerate you can be to get the riches of this world, that's saving your life. But the Lord said what? You, you do that, you really lose your life. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake. So we teach in the Lord's word. Guess what? You know, it says, it says, and the gospels, the same shall save it. So we're going to be Lord willing delivered for, you know, not participating in society. Not participating. We know what goes on behind the scenes. We know how these celebrities get to where they get. That's why we don't idolize them. All right. Which you're not supposed to idolize men on earth anyway. Are you not supposed to have that spirit? But that's why Esau gets you the witchcraft and deception, idolization of, of low lives, basically. People follow these celebrities. Really, you're supposed to follow the Lord. If you're a Negro, Latino, Native American, the person you're supposed to follow is Yahweh Shai, that's the Lord and Savior. Because he shows you how to live correctly, how to think. So it says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Exactly, that's, that's it right there. What profit is it going to give you if you gain everything but lose your own soul? So like these celebrities, all right, they've gained all the FRNs of this world, the mansions, you know, all these, uh, the women of this world, you know, all the, um, the, 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 the Goyim people, the, the so-called public idolizes them, you know, celebrity status, fame, which when you even look at the international bankers, no one knows them. They know that, see, the mentality of someone that's really above, that's from a, Higher, higher plane of thought. They don't want to be seen. They don't want to be known. So these international bankers, that you know, most people don't know them. When they, well, they do now. They're starting to know them now. But when they hear the name, for example, Rothschild, they'll think, ah, oh, no, that's conspiracy theories. They don't really know what's going on. But they'll, but they'll look up to a Rihanna. Do you get what I mean? So when you a celebrity, being a celebrity is like a, is is you know they get idolized basically. You know, and even when these celebrities get to where they, these so-called celebrities get to that status, they don't want it anymore. They don't want to be walking down the street and Goyim uh, chasing them. It's all by design, man. But anyway, that's the point. For, who so, who, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Exactly. So you gain the world, you get all this money, you get all this fame, all right? You get all these low-life people, um, public, the public ch screaming after you, which is all that witchcraft. But guess what? You've lost. What profit is it when you've so, you sold your soul, basically? 
That's why a lot of these celebrities, especially Israelite celebrities, Negroes and Latino celebrities, whenever they get high up in that world, they always get they always look fucked up in the end because they know they've done wickedness to get there. So it doesn't profit you. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the world and lose his own soul? But they lost their soul. All right? They've gained all this fame or whatever it is, this false fame. And then, but then they've lost their soul, man. All right? They've sold out their morals, basically. So this is Ephesians 6. And this is, but this is what goes on in this world. All right? That's why we're not to idolize these celebs and, you know, these musicians. We're not to idolize them, you know? Because, you know, at the end of the day, all these musicians and celebrities, man, they, they've done depraved things to get to where they are. And also, they're not going to deliver you in the end. They're not Yahweh Shai. They're not the angels. You know? So this is Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the power that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah, the wiles of the devil meaning the wiles of the spiritual demon Satan, but his, his, his uh, companion on the planet Earth, which is the so-called white man. All right. If we put on the whole armor of the Lord, meaning we believe in his truth, we ain't going to fall for the um, wiles of Esau, man. Meaning we're not going to fall for his deceptions, all right? We see through his deceptions. We're not going to fall, against, fall for the wiles of the, of, the, of, the, of the devil, all right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's what we're fighting against. Demons, all right? For example, these, these celebrities, their roles, all right, they get given roles by their handlers what kind of music to promote what kind of movies are going to be made and the reasons why those things are made is because it casts demons on the public on the people that you see the the regular bus driver the citizens of society have demons on them based on what they're consuming so it's all by agenda but we that's what we're wrestling with basically spirits man and and a big part of that in this world is like i was saying these celebrities they're used for these agendas so for we wrestle not against for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So that's what we're fighting against. Alright? Behind the scenes, witches and warlocks, alright? And even on a, like a, on another level, man, you know, we know that these demons and warlocks, you know, these top level Demons and warlocks of this world, these society, uh, witches, they pray against the brothers. They pray against the brothers that believe in Yahweh Shai. You know, all these things go on. All right? Because the ultimate threat to the so-called white man's society is the Israelite man waking up to who he is. And mainly pr prophesying and proclaiming the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the threat to these devils. All right? That's the main threat. Nothing carnal but spiritual. So it says... And the Lord's going to return with that carnality anyway. So, so it says, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right? Yeah, Hollywood. That's spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, Sony movies, um, Disney, Sony uh, uh, Universal Studios, um, whatever these fucking music companies are called. They're, they're, sp they're behind the scenes. They're, they're doing spiritual wickedness. All right, but really, even higher than that, the international bankers, the Illuminati, the bloodlines of the Illuminati, the top banking families, the real rulers of this kingdom. All right, Hollywood and these the music and stuff like that is a is basically a branch of their rulership. All right, so it says, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the power that ye may be able to stand, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. All right. Stand therefore having your gut, your, yeah, the evil day is the judgment day that's coming. So doing this work, Lord willing, you know, we get that deliverance from, from the judgment day, the nuclear missiles, the Yahweh Shai and the angels destroying shit. Hopefully the Lord will have mercy on us for doing his will. All right. But you know that, you know, pretty much that's the point I wanted to, I wanted to get out, you know, basically, you know, like for what shall it profit a man if he shall um, sell, basically lose his soul? Pretty much. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the world but lose his own soul, basically, man? And, you know, that's, that's Hollywood and whatnot. So it's just, yeah, it's, it's just interesting, and you know, it's interesting, you know. But anyway, um, Lord willing, uh, that, you know, I'm gonna, with that, I'm going to close up. So with that, I'm going to say all praise unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai.
double honours unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone, and shalawam to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalawam, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'asham, Racha, Gwadash. Shalawam, Shalawam.